Hello Scorpios. Happy, happy Sunday wherever you're at. You might be having a Sunday evening, um, but I'm on the East Coast, so you might be uh, waking up or... Um, so anyway, happy Sunday. <laughs> That's what I'm trying to say. So um, let's go into your reading. This is going to be a reading for Scorpios. Happy birthday to all you Scorpios. My birthday's coming up on the 18th, and I saw some of you share the same birthday. So thank you so much for reaching out. Um, if you'd like a personal reading, I have about three or four dates left on next Saturday. So next Saturday, maybe Sunday. So let me know if you would like a personal reading. All right. So let's see. Mm. Let's see. For the, the trust card is here. It is safe for you to love. I'm going to get two more spirit angel gods for Scorpio Sun. So I'm just going to let them to come out. I don't use these cards very often, but um, they do. I like to use them occasionally when I'm feeling it. So uh, today it made me feel that way. All right, we saw this before, I believe. Very similar cards. So there is a trust issue, Scorpio. You're having some trust issues that you're not being able to cross that. Well, there's two of them here. So we're just going to take it. <laughs> so let's get into our reading. So you have here, um, you're having some trust issues, right? And you're having the safe to love. So pay attention to the red flags. I'm just going to put this in order the way I feel. Hmm. Okay. So with this trust issues, you know, that you have been struggling with trusting people, and I don't blame you, um, because you had to pay attention. Maybe in the past you did not pay attention to the, those red flags um, that was cautioning you and telling you to be careful when you're dealing with people's energy. And you may have kind of justified it or ignored it. But I do feel like this out of the situation, you did get out of a situation and you start to get back into your way of life and what you want to do. So if you're single right now, uh, or coming out of a relationship, just understand this is your time to enjoy yourself and heal yourself and go to do all the things you never got to do while you were with this person. Now there is a reconciliation here on the table. But just kind of know as you start to, you might not want to go back to this person, but it is safe for you to love. I do think you have learned something about yourself, where, what to put up with, and what to tolerate, what not to tolerate. And the moment you see something, your gut telling you, your intuition is telling you, it's time to go, it's time to go, okay? You don't hang around to, just to see if you can fix it, okay? Which Scorpios are known for. So let's see. So here we go, Justice card. Okay, this is your energy right now, Scorpio, or you might be dealing with a Scorpio. So it does look pretty good here, Scorpio, for today. Oh, okay. You are doing some healing, and you're still um, going through the justice because you know the truth of things. And I think you got to this part where... Mm, someone felt like because of this like the red flags here I feel like someone was hiding secrets from you and you know you are the type of person again to maybe ignore those red flags even though you're feeling it but you kind of learned the truth about this person and you just decided you know this person may have been uh, feeling like that you're never going to find out the truth and you know they could hide it and they kept you on a string and uh, stringing you along that kind of thing uh, but there is some truth to something here. So we're going to see what that's about. But you have the Ace of Wands here in your energy. You are trying to change your life and grow into a better future and to stabilize yourself. I do feel like your money is going to be really good here, Scorpio. Um, but you are healing and you're getting some things that for your birthday here. So make a wish. All right. So, but you do have this Knight of Pentacles uh, that is stalking you. And they have not walked away from you. Actually, they're still wishing for you. <laughs> but there's a cup. So I'm going to put that magician back on if you want them or not. But the Knight of Pentacles, there's someone that's going to come slowly. They may be quiet right now, being silent and not coming toward you. 
and that's because they know you're really upset here and you're really mad and for them to come talk to you you're going to be furious um and reaching out to you after all this time uh the ghosting and inconsistencies and things like that but they do might be want to come and apologize to you uh, for what it's worth it might not be worth anything but that little token to you it might not be but they are constantly thinking about you wanting to communicate with you and they have not walked away from you so but they are wishing you here too um so let's see what else that tower moment so you are in that tower moment they know that you're, they actually feel like you hate them, or I'm not saying you do, but that's the way they've taken it. Like, you just hate them, and you don't want to have nothing else to do with them, and you're not going to, there's that ten of cups, yeah, you definitely, they feel like you don't want to reconcile this, you don't want to get back together, and you don't want to speak to them. Um, you're just, you're just like, okay, you're free, and you're following your feelings here, but there's a king, not a cups. The high priestess is here. Uh, you are learning. You did learn about this before you give your love away. You will have to pay attention to your intuition here, because uh, you saw how easy it was to for someone to come in and just change your whole entire life and cause chaos and drama and that kind of thing. So that's why you're careful now with whoever comes towards you. You're following that intuition because you're not going to be put back in that eight of swords energy that took you a long time to get out of. So you are freeing yourself here, Scorpio, with this card and this card. Uh, paying attention to red flags, your intuition, trusting your instincts. But let's see here what's coming. So this person has not walked away from you. Why, I want to ask, why has this person not walked away? Why has this not person has not walked away? They might be silent and like I said, they're not talking to you because they think you're really angry and you want to fight with them. And so they're staying away from you right now. Uh, they are want to communicate that's for sure so okay and this person had came in like a player energy wishy-washy inconsistent but they do want so let's see what they want with you now that's how they treated you what did this happen once okay. let me get one more what do they want with scorpio with this hierophant this hierophant is for marriage or relationship and I almost get the sense they know that they have lost you and they just know you're just furious at them and you just don't want nothing else with them. Let me know in the comments. Yeah. Um, they're not... I can't pull up their energy. They want to start this new chapter, but they are scared. You changed something and, yeah. They're not good. They are very stressed out here whatever situation they're in, they could be in a marriage or a relationship with somebody else. But they feel foolish for leaving you, no matter what, with this relationship, they feel foolish. And they want to start a new life here, and they're about to determine in our energy now, they're determining why are they determined here to start over. They feel like they can be successful with you and have a good life. That's where their energy is now. But you're not having it. Mm -mm. Queen of Cups, they, they feel like they can be very successful with you. They lost a good thing with you. And they are seeing that they thought they had options here. Um, they're not letting you go, but they thought they had options and they realized they, there's no one out there like you. So be surprised. Don't be surprised, I'm sorry. Don't be surprised after all this that they've done, they're still wanting that reconciliation with you. Okay, because they're, they're heading back towards you. Actually, they never left. They were just, yeah, there we are. So, um, yeah, they're single. They're doing some soul searching here, thinking about you, remembering you. And they want my reconciliation. So, but let me just look at your energy while I'm here. Um, so if you're looking for someone to come back, they all, they're, they're coming back, okay? They, they're recognizing how they treated you. They just don't want to fight. They always kept telling you, let's not fight. Stop arguing. Don't fight. Or you, you were telling them that, vice versa. What's your energy? What's Scorpio's energy? Okay, so I, let's see what your outcome energy is going to be. You're just not looking for 
this person's love you felt like this person had too many options that's your energy you're like okay go play with your options go stay with whoever yeah you're feeling like you're better off you're better off without this person <laughs> You're better off without this person in your life, and that's how you feel. So you're just, you know that. You have, they put you in this third party, and you're not tolerating it anymore. Okay, Scorpio? You just remember what they did to you, okay? Don't keep the bitterness, but today they want your forgiveness here. They want forgiveness for all the things they've done to you, but I don't think you're just, you may have forgiven them, but you're not forgetting what they did. Um... You just remember that all the un instability they brought to your life and they didn't give it to you. And that's what it is. All right, I'm going to leave it here again. Give me that thumbs up. Um, if you like a personal reading, reach out to me. Reach out to me and let me know uh, for next Saturday or Sunday. All right, take care, Scorpio. See you. Send in a lot. Bye-bye.